Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 16n squared minus 114n equals a negative 14, and we need to solve this by factoring. Well, I want to get everything together on the left-hand side, so I'm going to add a 14 to both sides gives me a 16n squared minus 114n plus 14 equal to 0. Now one thing I notice is that each one of these numbers is even. That means 2 goes into each one. So let's go pull out a 2 from all parts here. If I do that, I have 2 times an 8n squared minus a 57n plus 7 is now equal to 0. Well, I don't want that 2 there anymore. So if I divide both sides by 2, 2's cancel, and I have an 8n squared minus 57n plus 7 equals, well, 0 divided by 2, 0. Now we have a quadratic that kind of looks a little hairy here. I have an a value, which is 8. An 8 can be multiplied, well, to be a 1 and an 8, and a 2 and a 4. My c value is 7. And two numbers that multiply by 7 are just, well, 1 and 7. Now my b value is a negative number, but my c value is a positive number, meaning both of these must be negative. Negative 1 times negative 7 is a positive 7. So now I have to ask myself, or myself here, what a value, what pair, are right, we dealing with the pairs here, what pair, one of them, times the other one, another pair here, plus another value in the first pair, times the other value in the second pair, gets me a negative 57. And really my first guess is dealing with 8 times a negative 7. That gets me really close to a negative 57. So 8 times a negative 7 is equal to a negative 56. So that's one pair. The other pair would be 1 times a negative 1. And that's a, well, negative 1. Add them together, negative 57, the b value that we're looking for. So the pairs we're dealing with are here and here. So this has to be in the factored form of 8n, and then n like this, equal to 0. We said the 8n gets multiplied by the negative 7, so i got to put that on the second parenthesis. The first parenthesis is a minus 1. Okay? Right there. So now we can set each part individually and solve. So let's go do that over here. I'm a little running out of space. So if 8n minus 1 equals 0, and I have a n minus 7 equal to 0. Now let's go solve. Add a 1 to both sides. 8n equals a positive 1, divided by an 8, and n equals a 1 8. Same thing with the second equation. I add a 7 to both sides, and n equals a positive 7. So I have my two answers. We can write as a single statement here as n equals a 1 8 and a positive 7, and that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.